Hey, what's going on, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got some more NBA news to talk about, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, today, I've got some more Andre Iguodala news to talk about, and it's actually revolving around the LA Lakers and the Miami Heat. Now, I believe I actually have made, like, heaps of Lakers videos to do with Iguodala, and to be honest, I think I've actually, yeah, made a couple, and it's getting a bit older at this point, but... They just keep, you know, reaffirming to us that they seem to have quite a bit of interest in him. But a new team that I haven't really seen have interest in him yet is obviously the Miami Heat. So it's interesting to see that they have decided to, you know, show some interest in him. But yeah, it, this is actually being reported by Kevin O'Connor apparently saying that the Lakers still, in, uh, the Lakers are still interested in Andre Iguodala, but Memphis continues to refuse a buyout. Now at this point, he's just taking up a roster spot, so. Again, they're very, very content with keeping him, and they don't want to get, they don't, you know, want to get rid of him for free. They honestly desperately want a second, it does look like. So, yeah, the Lakers are going to have to pretty much give up a second, I feel like, if they do want to get him over to the team. And, yeah, obviously, it's just going to take, I feel like, a lot longer than expected. And, to be honest, I'm not too sure if it's ever going to happen. I don't know if it will, because... If he does request a trade to the Lakers, I don't think they really care at this point. And yeah, they're just going to keep him until they decide to get a pick out or whatever. But it's also now reported that the Heat are exploring potential trades to acquire Andre Iguodala. This is being reported by uh, Greg Sylvander, I think. Sylvander? 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 <laughs> I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it's Greg Sylvander. But pretty much, th this actually makes a lot of sense, in my opinion, because... The Miami Heat have two players that I think the Grizzlies should want and should try and get. And that is, you know, potentially Dion Waiters is one of them. Dion Waiters now, he's an expiring deal. Got a pretty big contract. Yes, he's run into a lot of trouble at the moment. But I think, you know, he's still a vet, he's still one of those players that is still in the middle part, you know, middle age of their career, probably going into his prime at this point. I feel like could still help some help with some scoring. And the Miami Heat, he pretty much has no trade value at all because obviously he's got a big contract and all that stuff. And I think they really want to get rid of him. So yeah, that would obviously make a lot of sense to me, in my opinion. And the other player that they could potentially put in there is James Johnson, who's kind of you know, he's currently played six games, averaging 3.3 points, 11.3 minutes, and 1.8 rebound. Again, he has a massive contract, and yeah, they're two expiring deals, and potentially what I could see happening is they're doing a deal maybe such as potentially James Johnson, Dion Waiters, and a second for Iguodala. Obviously, then Miami get rid of two players who's not even playing for them that they don't even want, that are massive deals that they don't need right now, and they pretty much trade all that up and only a second round pick, and they give up a veteran player who I definitely think would be able to help out. And he's a veteran player they could potentially re-sign. So that's why I think this deal could be kind of interesting. And that's why I think they could potentially include to try and get him. I really don't think Andre Iguodala necessarily has as much trade value as the Memphis Grizzlies do think he does. I think it would be cool again to see him potentially land at a con you know contending team such as the Miami Heat or Lakers. And yeah, the Miami Heat, he could potentially get maybe 10 minutes a game or something with them. And yeah, some actual decent minutes as their... I, I would say he'd be maybe their 11th man on the team because yeah, they have a very decent rotation. This is their rotation right now. Derek Jones Jr., Myers Leonard, Kelly Olenek, um, Kelly Olenek, sorry. Duncan Robinson, Justus Winslow, Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, Goran Drag uh, Dragic, and obviously Kendrick Nunn and Jimmy Butler. What a rotation that is. If Andre Iguodala is your, like, 11th man, you're obviously doing something right. And, yeah, that is a very, very good rotation, in my opinion. So, it's definitely something that the Miami Heat should potentially try and look at. They get rid of two players that are, you know, they don't really want, that aren't really doing anything for them, obviously. And, you know, are just massive contracts. And they give up just a second, which doesn't really mean much to them anymore. And they potentially get, you know, a veteran player who still might have some juice left in him. And that could potentially, you know, maybe even re-sign and provide some more playoff experience and stuff when that does come. Because, to be honest, there's not a lot of playoff team, uh, a lot of playoff experience, sorry, in this team. I don't believe that Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero, um, Duncan Robinson... Uh, maybe Derrick Jones Jr. 
I, I don't think any of them have necessarily made it to the playoffs before. There's probably as many play, players on this t on their rotation that actually haven't made it to the playoffs as players on their rotation that actually has made it to the playoffs. So, yeah, maybe some more playoff experience as well and just some all-around depth considering, yeah, they'll be getting rid of two players they're not even playing at all at the moment anyway. So, it really doesn't even matter to them. So, I could definitely see something like that happening. But when it comes to the Lakers, I just don't know if they're going to be able to get him. They really don't want to give anything up for him. So, again, I can't really see exactly anything like that happening. But who really knows what's going to happen? This is the NBA, and anyone could get traded for anyone. So, yeah. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA and sports content. And don't, really, uh, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this? Do you guys think it would be a good idea, um, you know, for the Miami Heat or LA Lakers to potentially try and trade for Andre Iguodala? What do you guys think they're going to actually have to trade up to potentially get they, uh, these players, you know, Andre Iguodala, sorry. I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash vlogging channels. The links for them are also in the description down below. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.